Welcome to Tinovo.shop. So today we are doing the nail marathon and this is our second live. Let me write on my website before we start. Everything I use is at www.tinovo.shop. I'm going to post it on here. And let's connect to Destiny. All right. Let's flip you over. Okay. All right. So, second design. We already have the tips. Okay. I will, will do a rainbow tie-dye feather. So, this is my tie-dye now. One of the salon ready techniques that I will demonstrate in Florida, in Orlando premiere. But I will take this technique and I will make it into a feathers and then a uh, dream catcher vibe in general. I got you. Okay, so since it's going to be pretty colorful, the background, I want it to be light. I want cream nude, a fair skin background. Let's do this on these fingers. And we are doing feather skin light. What? We are doing a, a, the second design for the nail marathon today. Okay. Take this and care. All right. This one, let's do it too. On nude. Just two finger first. Okay, clear this too. I don't know which design blooms. I don't know which design. We'll see. This is the first design that we did this morning. Look at this one yesterday. It's so beautiful. Uh, we are doing the second design today. We will see which design is going to turn out. First, I start with top gel cream nude. I can't wait to see the design. Okay, so a feathers. What color should I use? I'm going to use art gel. Since this tie-dye technique only work with art gel, it wouldn't work with like gel polish because when you paint all these long clothes together, you cannot cure it in between because at the end, you're going to drag it to make tie-dye patterns. So these gel need to stay next to each other, but it cannot bleed into each other's. And art gel will do just that. I actually am going to cure another one. I'm going to put on another coat and I'm going to cure it again. Thank you, friendly hands. Love your technique. Thank you. These are salon ready techniques, so people are going to learn a lot of tips and tricks to make money this summer. Summer coming in, people are going to go. Uh, start getting the nail done more often in the summers and pedicure. We need as much art as possible to cater to them. Oh, the beautiful art technique. Okay, here. All right, let's pick on my colors. I obviously need blue. I need Tiffany blue. And I need, of course, pink. Of course, I always need pink. Um, I need green. 
I need lemons. I'm gonna choose lemon, not yellow, because yellow is a true yellow oxide. See, see, it's a true yellow. Lemon is brighter, so I'm gonna choose lemon. And purples. Let's choose amethyst. I'm choosing amethyst for the purples. So this is amethyst. Check it out. Ocean blue. Tiffany blue. Lemon. Green. Pink. Okay, first we have to advance these in order because it's going to lay next to each other. So let's see how we're going to do it. Okay, these two close to each other's. Ooh, that's pretty next to each other's. Um, like that. Ooh, and then, no. Uh, maybe not pink. That, like that. Okay, so that is how I'm going to do it. This is my orders. Green to Tiffany, purple to yellow. I'm going to leave it here. Okay, let's start with the feather first. Now, i never done the feather before ever in my life. I, I draw a feather before, but i never done like a tie-dye feathers. See, I want to take that tie-dye and I'm going to make a feather. So obviously, I have to think, I have to plan about the pattern. I have to um, have some kind of strategy. So I figure like a teardrop, pour it in, and then string it out. Okay. Let's start with one line in the middle first. Let's start with yellow. Do you use gel tips for your art? Gel tip, yes. Yes, I do. You can find it on my website. Okay. I will be right back. I gotta run up to the store here real quick. Okay. Love you. Love you. All right, everybody. Uh, Tara, keep everybody in line. Okay. Make it low thickers. The lines low thickers. I'm a little nervous. Ooh, I've never done this before. I've never done this before. Okay, so now pink. Don't kill this. And then purples next to the pink. Okay, there is a theory that I come up with. I hope that works with the feathers. It has to turn out like a feathers. And then Tiffany Blue.
Okay, blue. And then last color is green. One down here. Curve it back. Just a little bit to add whimsical for the feathers. So if I want to do a feathers, I will, from here, I drag it out first. From here, I drag it out here. And I should go on out like this. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay. From here. Track it out. Ooh. Doesn't look like a feather yet, but it's beautiful. If I can't do a feather, I do a butterfly. Start to look feathery. I put a little too much purples, but that's fine. I should put more Tiffany blue, it's so pretty. And my brush, a very clean, clean brush. I'm using the painting brush. Oh, that look kind of feathery, I think.
in what do I want to do maybe dip a little blue into my brush Oh, I can drag a little more. I don't have to do it just once. I can do more. Oh, I can drag it. Oh, oh, I can drag more. It's prettier that way. Yeah, I definitely need more Tiffany blue. Oh, that's, that's getting like really pretty. And then maybe I can drag this line out. Oh, yes. That's cute. This looks like an airbrush or a Photoshop or something. It looks so abstract. Do you guys like this? Let me see. See us, uh, Lynn. See you after dinner. Yeah, you guys like that? Seems like you guys like that. It was a little unexpected. Expected. I never do a feather before. I do tie dye many times, and I do feather many times. Just never tie dye feathers. Well, look at that, it's my foot feathers. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let me see. Doesn't look bad at all. It's interesting. Let's clear this. Tie-dye feathers, okay. Okay, so uh, let's get back to reality. Uh, let's do a uh, frame around here. I wanna do like a dream catcher in it. Let me see if I should do a dream catcher. Yeah, I'm going to do a dream catcher. Maybe I should keep it simple. You know what? All tie-dye. No dream catcher, all tie-dye. Um, I was thought I would yellow like I did. From here is go twist around and it's come back here.
and then pink next. right next to it Okay, fill it in and then you just simply jump to your next colors purples <laughs> Acrylic claw. <laughs> Say my client is still not here. Fifteen minutes late now. I know, right? Oh, she is my older sister. Cancel her. Let's remove her. I thought she, she a real client. Older sister is not a real client. They will match your, your schedule up. Fire her. Unless you pay a lot, then then help um, punish her. What, 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 what kind of oh, her, her client is 15 minutes late, but oh. then she said it's her older sister, so oh. it doesn't really count. They always have, they always expect a family um, uh, lenience. Yeah. No, no mercy. Show her absolutely no mercy. Oh, she's happy because her being late, late means she gets to watch you for a while. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, that's a little better. Oh, Tanya's here. She said, my faith. Is it? Is it? What is her faith? You. Yes, it is.
see if it's like this. If it's like this, don't try to smooth it out because it just smooth out by itself. Just so you know, so you don't waste time trying to smooth it. See, so you just pan it on like that and you just leave it and it just smooth out by itself. Don't touch this. Okay, now drag it out. Clean your brush first. Make this a little e more even. Okay, now clean your brush. Make sure it's clean. I'm using painting brush. Now I'm gonna drag this out. I'm gonna make a flat sun first, vertically and horizontally. And make sure that you clean up excess gel in every stroke. So it doesn't contaminate your next line. Have the hot flashes because watching you. Yeah, is that a good thing or bad thing? Does that mean I'm hot, right? Obviously. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, the Curly's Claws person just got there, so. Oh, finally. I wouldn't answer the door. Yeah, like, just like, where your Starbucks? Tell her that. Where your Starbucks? <laughs> 
No Starbucks, get out. Get out of here. Yeah. Okay, there's no blue up here on the yellow, but I would love to be. So I'm going to pretend like there's some blue up here. So I dip my brush in a little blue. I dip it in and I'm going to drag it. So, so did you have a question, Kayla? Because I, I didn't see you asked anything. She struck a little blue out. Dip a little blue, go all the way down here. <laughs> and you don't have to dip the blue in, I just want it to be a little more contrast down here where all the color is light. I wonder who came up with tie dye. It's uh, derived uh, in the uh, 60 to 70. I don't know how. Probably a lot of acid and unicorn. <laughs> Unicorns and acid. Unicorn and acid make tie dye. Oh, I, I shouldn't call it acid. It's less elegant that way. LSD. I have a. <laughs> I have a question. How do you get the matte top coat not not to shrivel up? Ooh, it doesn't do that. It's never do that with me. Uh, it gotta be so thick, but even if it's thick, it's not gonna shrivel up. You should, do you try my brand? Do you try Votino? Or you try other brand? I never have. Even another brand, that's got to be like really horrible. It got to be really horrible. Cause I never, I never have problem with matte shoes or nothing. Or anything clear. Hear this? Yeah, anything clear shouldn't show up. It should be just fine. Look at this, Dustin. I never done a feather like this. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. These yeah. are feathers. I know I cannot put pigment on, but just in case. Could I have it make no wipe? That's right. I have no what it made no white, so couldn't put pigment on it. You wanna see? <laughs> okay. What next? Next is tips, and we're done. Oh my god, let's map this. Okay, I'm gonna use mat it. Here, here we go, Quasha. 
She excited to see what it looked like on the map. Yeah. Let me show you a little early. Look. Oh. Ooh, that's beautiful. Are you doing a French on the other fingers? What kind of French, though? This many kind of French. That's V, v shaped French. That is reverse French. That's an ombre. Oh, I never do an ombre before. That's, that's a little risky. But should I? <laughs> I don't know. I never do a nombre tie dye before. That gotta be crazy, right? Should we? You should be smoking a cigarette. Ah, uh, I'm just so scared. What's a tie dye ombre? Ugh, but I want to though. Should I just try one finger to see what happened? Here, this. Did I try a tie dye ombre? I think I did try an ombre tie dye before, right? Um, I think you may be thinking of a, a, a yeah, animal print tie dye. I did animal print tie dye. I don't remember. A... But it wouldn't look right. Yeah, it wouldn't look right. Tips. Tie dye tips. Okay. So after this here, I am going to make nude here, nude right here, and put the tip on. Oh, I'm going to do a sway tips like that. Sway. Okay, that's good. Time to send her bulk. Matt just got there, so she's going to mad every day. <laughs> Here goes the homeschool kid. Yeah. Hello, New Zealand. Hi, New Zealand. As a new nail tech, you are such an inspiration. Thank you. Kia. She's going to start with her car. She's going to man her car. Crazy. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm getting ready for a whole bunch of rhinestones. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. Probably some diamond right here for sure. Some rhinestone right in the middle of the feathers. This may be cuticles or maybe scatter stone, whichever. It's my first time. I never done this before. I should have put more uh, Tiffany blue in the feather, but whatever. It's still beautiful. It is. And I wish a little more pink. I put a lot of purple. I was excited <laughs> and nervous at the same time. Oh, yeah. Crazy. But now I already done it. So that's nothing but regret. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Hear this. It is so risky to just keep doing things first time uh, on live. I need to I need to be more careful from now on. I need to at least do one nail first. I actually don't have time to do one nail. I have so many things to do besides the live. I have to finish those ombre to bring to the show. Hear this. All right, let's do some tie dye tips, some sway tips. Don't forget that, some sway tips. Thank you. Hmm? Are these coal in the shell? No. Oh. No. You don't have to refrigerate till you open them. Oh, okay. Right, 
<coughs> MJ now say I'm only uh, 15 years behind. No, that's good. That's good. Doing now for a long time, that's not necessarily a good thing. It's actually not a good thing nowadays. Mm, people that do now for 20 years, above 10 years, now tech that have been in the biz business above 10 years, actually a little more unfortunate than you are. When you first started out, you're good. You're good because you're like a sponge. You will suck up anything, especially now today when the, the wave of nail art is increasing and there's technique, new technique every single day, you have a more advantage because you know nothing. You know nothing, so you can learn anything. Now, a person that have been in the business for above 10 years, they pack with a bunch of knowledge, but it's become outdated. Though knowledge have become outdated, but that doesn't mean that it's easy to change your habit, you see. Like if I cook a certain way for 10 years, suddenly a chef come in and teach me something new, I'm, I'm going to try to adapt to it, but I still have my old habit. Same thing, you know. It, just because you're in the business for 15 years, I'm one of the rare cases that I can change and adapt. But adaptation is not something that's easy for everyone. So you are in luck. You're good. The The upper hand is, is on your side. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah, it's, it's really fast. It's in and out. It's almost like fashion. It's become in fashion, which means the next day, today you're in, the next day you're out. It's just like that. It's just like that in the nail sport now. So... The, the, the people that have been in the uh, business for a long time are very easy, get left behind, very easy. They not practice for about a year, that's it. They become something that belongs to yesterday, which means that they not be able to increase their price at all. What they charge about five years ago is what they charge now. They not be able to make three, four hundred dollars set like us new people. When, when you go in new, you can charge a lot of money because you're modern, you're new. You know what I mean? You're young. You can adapt to a lot of, of the new way that we do. Like, like when you first go into the nail base, you probably think, oh, you, you probably know that only chair exists. But no, no, let me tell you. Let me tell you that before your time, there's polish. What is polish? What is nail polish? Oh, I don't know if you want, even want to hear about it. It's this, it's this lacquer that will take 30 minutes to dry. It will take 10 minutes for it to dry, just enough to touch. But it's still soft that after 30 minutes, if you bump your nail, it's going it's, 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 it's gonna to chip up or wrinkle. That's how horrible it is. Polish. That's back in the old day we do polish. Oh, still give me a cringe every time I mention it. Okay, now. Let's see. We want to sway this way. Go down, go out, go down again. Make sure it's in the middle of the nail. <clears throat> and so then you go slant. Can we do this? Designed with regular colored gel polish. Not sure if I've said that yet. It's difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult because it's going to blend. It's going to start blending. And gel polish is liquidy. So let's say I'm starting now with a circle, right? But my art gel, being a gel pen, is, is, is hold onto that circle. But gel polish, by the time you're done, it might be like, it's, it might not be a circle like this. It might not be that. It might be this. It's, it might start dripping because it's liquidy. It might start morphing and it's not going to keep this pattern. Plus, the color going to like start blending in. And I mean, if you like a speed demon, if you work super fast, probably can pull that up. But I mean, if you're working with like a lot of color and especially you're working with shape, ugh, it's going to be very tough with polish, with gel polish. Okay. 
Now I need the next color will be blue. We should set it a bloom. Yeah, it bloom. <laughs> Quasha said, I do these designs with regular gel. Always go thinner amounts rather than be <laughs> thick and move fast. And move fast. <laughs> move, run for your life. <laughs> move for your life. And then DLC has a crisis going on the side. She done spilt chrome everywhere. Oh, God. No. <gasps> no. That's... You can pull a, you can drop glitter, but not chrome. Oh my god. Oh no, not chrome. Chrome is expensive. Okay, blue and then uh is it pink? Is it oh Tiffany blue. Oh, You know, I really enjoy going on live and talking to all these people worldwide. Yes. Oh, it's really enlightening. I, I uh, grew up in Asia. I was born in Palawan, Philippines. And I, uh, two years old, my family started to move back to Vietnam. And I stayed in Vietnam uh, for 11 years before we get the chance to migrate to America. And I have been staying in America for 20 years. I, I hope that uh, by the end of my life, I have another chance to make another. Yeah. I mean, to travel, that's easy. Of course, I'm going to go to Europe for traveling. But to live is something else. You have to adapt to the culture. You have to adapt to the language. You have to know their ways. But it's gonna, it, it gonna change you as a person. Believe and uh, and the way you are gonna change a little bit just because of the influence of culture. It's fascinating. It's an amazing experience. Like when I'm Vietnamese, I talk and act a little different, and when I'm influenced by the American culture, I talk and act a little different. It's, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. Just uh, the way, uh, that's joke, you know, that joke that doesn't make sense in Vietnam, but it makes sense in United States. There's a way of thinking. It's different. Just everything is different when you adopt it to another culture. And then the food, the way you eat, the way you chew, everything is different. The way you, even the way you sit or the way you greet people, greet people. Um, mm, one thing that I noted in the American culture is uh, we're not as close at other culture, meaning like we're not touching each other's. Like in Vietnam, we got laws against that kind of crime. yeah. We don't touch. We don't touch. We have a thing about touching, uh, but in Vietnam we touch. Like like men will 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 touch each other's, like they will put their hand on each other's shoulder like, because they friend. Um, you know they they will touch each other. But in United States, when when you touch a guy, they will be oh homo, oh you gay. He's so gay or something like that. You know what I mean? But they were right. So we, our culture in the United States are more separate. Like people are like leery of, of all kind of things just because of certain belief. But in Asia, we're close. We're close. And, and mm, men in Asia laugh more than men in the United States. Men in the United States are more masculine. Uh, they think laughing make you gay. So they don't they don't laugh, or when they laugh, they, they laugh in a very masculine way. So it's different, definitely different. So what con next country you think we might want to live in? Then? 
um, if I were to go to Europe, I don't know yet. I like everything about Europe. Uh, probably, definitely not uh, Italy because it's expensive. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, it might be Italy. Um, same in Latin America, people are close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Latin. No, I, I know, I know uh, Latin mm -hmm. men. Latin men are the same way. They close. They close each other. Um, but not the United States. If I were to go to Europe, I will. I... See, I, I always like to carry it about Germany countryside. You know, and Hitler is already die, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I would talk. I totally want to live in Germany then. Well, I kind of like Australia for some reason. Australia is so hot. Uh, India. India. Feels to me for some reason. It's difficult. Well, just because you said it's so diverse. It's difficult because of religion. Oh yeah, you're right. No, I was thinking about Middle East. That's different from India. Yeah, India would totally be a, a a beautiful country to live in. But that's not Europe. That's Asia. Well, Europe is just you know. Ever since we watched the Baby Ranger, I'm you know I don't know. Yeah, that's that's from uh British. That 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 that's from England. That's different. Baby Reindeer is from England. <laughs> that's that where Lynn lives. Crazy, wasn't it? it was crazy. It was a crazy movie. I love it. See, Caribbean people are close and. And Puerto Rico, we greet everyone with a hug. See, that's, yeah, that's, that's almost that's a hug, right? You know, I... yeah, but you know, like, like, like with my friend, you know, if I put my hand on his shoulder, he like, oh, oh, no homo, no homo. It's like I'm not gonna. Good meal, you can catch it. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, I am for you. Uh, so the tutorials are on his smaller page, uh, tinovo.shop, and also on YouTube. He was looking at the uh, storefront. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought he was nuts, too. I think he was just as fault as, 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 as the lady. Yeah, I no, I think he's the root of the problem. Yeah, he liked it. He liked it. He just didn't want to admit it. That poor lady. That the baby reindeer is definitely the guilty party. Oh my God! It's so pretty. Am I? Do I want to move up? Because if I move up, I need to be careful of this land right here. I don't want to ruin it. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move up. Okay, it's official. We're going to Poland. Poland? Oh. Yes. They welcome everybody and eat soon. And what? Eat. Eat soon. What's that mean? I guess, you know, oh, they eat early. Like they feed you. Oh, oh, oh. Like a whole country full of grandmas. Oh, I like it. I'm a foodie. Yes. Okay. I have a friend from Poland. A uh, old friend from Poland. Uh, at tinovo.shop and also on YouTube. Just punch in Tinovo. Oh, eat so well. Oh, it's, it's well. I love food. I think it's a gateway to the soul. The gateway to the soul. Yeah, I love food. I love, not like food you need to eat to survive food like you know food culture food i know the way that different culture cook is different too boy do i know that when i come here when when dust then when I, I cook very different than dustin when we first met doesn't say let me cook like oh show me show me what your people cook so he start to fry some sausage the sausage is already in like the pouch, not the sausage that you hand make. Sausage she bought at the store, and he. It all comes from the same place. He stirs, he stirs some sausage in, and then he put some onion in, so it's kind of interesting. And then he take half and half cream, right? I like. He didn't take a measuring cup, so I'm like, what what's going on here? He poured it in. He poured like half of the 
half of the content, I was traumatized. It's like, what's going on? And that's that's murder involved too. Like murder and crime is the same place. Oh my god! And 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 then he was stirred up this mixture. And that's it. Biscuits and gravy. There's no other way to make So it. he called that the gravy. He called that gravy. And then he would take what he called biscuits, which is like a dry cookies that doesn't have any flavor. It doesn't even taste good. But a, apparently it's that's part of it. Gravy. <laughs> so there's this dry cookies and this this dramatizing mixture full of heart attack ingredients. And he would dip it in. He would submerge the whole thing together into like undefinable goo and and then we eat it and it'll be delicious i taste it it's it's an adventure it was an adventure oh god boy was it an adventure it was uh, uh you never asked me to make it again so i already know it was an experience uh, one thing that I know is you don't judge culture, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say it tastes bad. I'm just gonna try to adopt it as as one of my uh, palate. Oh, absolute nightmare! I would say nightmare. Oh, it's an absolute nightmare. I, I, I no oh God. You like the eggs, right? Uh, 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 yes, he cooked an omelet. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, yes, be watching. He will post the live. Type blue, dark blue, it's ocean blue. Hello, the artist. Hi, the artist. You know, it's not easy to make biscuits and gravy. I'm sure it's not. It's <laughs> a struggle, I'm sure, a mental struggle. Man, pulling that gravy, pulling that half and half, and I'm like, oh my God. No, now it's not make sense that there's no measuring cup. There's no needed. The whole thing is made out half and half. I might well just buy it from the store and just drink it straight down with cookies. It just tastes better. Milk and cookie taste better. Now, I like brown gravy. I I get used to brown gravy. I like that. Yeah, I should I, I just anything for a very long time. I should use a coloring brush to speed up my process. I don't know why you are in the painting brush take a little longer. <clears throat> And she says, I learned how to design with stones the last time I joined your live. Thank you so much. You know, love You're you. welcome. Yeah, you can't really, you can't, you can't really measure for gravy because you got to get the right consistency. You're sure not. I mean, who even invented? I'm sure it's not from Mother England. I, I think dry biscuits came first, and then you're like, you know, this needs something. <laughs> that makes more sense. Cause I still don't understand the point of the biscuit <laughs> nowadays. Why not bread and gravy? Or cracker and gravy? Why biscuits? At least a good taste in biscuit, at least they like, make from pastry sheet. Where there's butter in between the layer and it's flake up. Maybe that. No, this should have to be dry as a rock. As a rock. Almost break my teeth chewing it. Well, let's let's just discuss what your people do. Eating a eating a duck. That's good. 
dang thing's got a beak and feathers and it's it's good the duck the, the grown duck is walk around and have all kind of disease and all that when you eat the balut the duck is still inside the eggs oh. so so it's healthy it's have no sickness it's delicious yeah i think so too Roger. Okay. Now. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you. I didn't clean my brush on this step, but uh, I don't have really have any struggle. So I guess not cleaning your brush is okay too. But unless you have a lot of paint, then you might <laughs> want to remove it. Ooh, crack crackle barrel. Mm. I like crackle barrel. I see now, fifteen years later, I get used to the American culture now. Now I'm all the way. I no longer timid by hideous, hideous palate. Hideous palate. Is yeah, I, I'm. I'm down now for whatever. Hideous palate. Hideous palate. Now I I go along with it. <laughs> this is a nice smooth stroke. We have a lot of burger in America. Those are healthy. Yeah. It's got the whole four food groups in there. Yeah. Salad. You can even hold it with your hand. You don't have to use your utensil. You can hold it with your hand. You're not supposed to use a utensil. Why would you? Can you imagine? Cutting a burger with a fork and a knife. <laughs> well, you got me eating chops. I, I always chops. eat you put the uh, utensil because when you're holding a burger, your finger gonna get grease on it. And then sometimes a burger is so big, <laughs> it's like a gigantic monster burger, and your mouth is not big enough to, to fit all that in, and then it will like. Oh, grease would drip over you. Oh, it's give me a he be cheapy. Yeah, I like I like you when I eat. You gotta smash it. You gotta you gotta do PR with it. You gotta. <laughs> mm. Might well just go to a steak house. The steak house. I like steak though. Steak is the best in America. They have good steak. Uh, please, you know, can gel, gelish products be used in all designs you do? Because here in Nigeria, we can't find perfect gel nail products. I don't know. I don't know if it can. You have to try it first. You have to try it first to see if it works for you. Well, Cracker Barrel does sound good, doesn't it? Cracker Barrel is great. Oh, you like want to go eat it. I like soup. I like this soup. Let me see. Um, I need, I feel like I need gold of some sort. Let me think about this. Um, cure time after design. Everything is 60 second cure. Yes. Um, I think that I need white. I'm gonna cure everything and then I'm gonna do some white emboss. I don't know how that's gonna turn out yet. It could be good. We'll see. Let's take white art gel out. Lisa said, my mom asked my husband, if you don't 
uh, like Asian food. Why marry an Asian? Why? He said. Well, she's half American. She can cook me a burger. She almost chopped him with a butcher knife. I'm going to use white art shell. Uh, I'm going to use pigment base. I'm going to use pigment base because it's soaked in acrylic easier. And I'm not going to do intricate detail. I'm just going to do a few simple lines. So it's okay to use pigment base instead of art gel. Um, to uh, emphasize the sway pattern here. You like the double line? Right, like sugar. Let me sugar. person you're talking about um lexi but jamie and her they're all good people okay let me see okay i think i like it okay, mm -hmm. okay next i'm gonna do this now too Wispy it is. Dreamy. Huh? Creamy? What'd you say? Creamy? Oh, yeah. Let's just leave it there. Let me see this one. See now. When you don't see it wet anymore, that means that it's good to go. Let's pour it one more time just to make sure. And then dust it out. Get it. Completely solid. Here go the feathers. Hmm. What should I do with the feathers? Let's do a line. Go all the way. So, 
so Lexi, there's a website that has the prices of everything, but if, if you don't feel comfortable, don't buy it. We, we definitely don't ever want to push anything into anyone's hands. We seem skeptical, so. Like this. Now, you need some further out here, but how am I going to do this? Hmm. Let me see. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and separate these. So he doesn't have to put the clear acrylic on it. It just gives it more dimension. Yes. When you do gel polish, you either do it thin, as, assuming that that gel polish is no white, or you do acrylic to make sure that it lasts a long time. When it's solid, it lasts forever. Trying to decide. Thank you, Art. Art Academy. I think that's a good idea. What do you guys think? I like it. Do you guys think that this is a good idea? Mm, let me see. I'm gonna ruin the. Oh, I don't want to ruin the tie dye. It does a little bit. Let me see the comment. Yeah, you like the feathers? They they like the feathers. Okay. Oh, they're even obsessed. You obsessed with it? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's uh let's make sure. Let me uh sugar this and then I'll see. So it adds more definition to it. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I think we're trying to get focused on the tie dye. Right, right. right. And and I, I don't want to lose a tie dye. Well, you got it over there. I know. I actually don't want to lose it. I don't think I should do anything in the middle, though. I don't either. Okay. Clear this. <laughs> it, it does cover a bit of the tie-dye, just not all of it. So that's why I'm a little hesitated. But, yeah, I think it's a good decision. Like it. If not, we're just going to have to make another set. <laughs> Mm, extended marathon. <laughs> <sighs> uh, the next live is going to be um, that's rose quartz. Okay, uh, let me show you how to do rose quartz. 
everybody know about rose quartz. Hello from Paris. Hello from Ace. Hello Paris. Pattern you don't catalyze. Let me see. I couldn't see it. Read it. Well, I'll let you read it because the way it reads, it's, you're going to think I'm not making sense, but it doesn't make sense. Hello, uh, pro Prom Mage. After powering, you don't catalyze. No, 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 no. You don't at all. So, where after you powdering, you have to wait because more polish. Let me pour some powder on here for you. Most this is what most people mistake is at. When they pull acrylic on like that, they care. They're like, oh, let's care it. Okay. But you notice it's going to get wet. See, it's already had some shine on it again, and it's going to get wet. So what happened here is that the acrylic on the top, it's going to sink down to the bottom. So it's leave the top wet. At that point, you have to pour it in again to make sure that it's packed with acrylic. Now, when people just pour on at first and it look like it's already been coated and they put in the machine, two things catastrophic gonna happen. Number one, is the top is gonna be hardened but the bottom is wet, it's gonna chip just like that. Few day, it's no longer on people's nails. That's number one. Number two, it's gonna be ashy because extra acrylic are lingering on the top it's gonna fade the color very quickly. Like I do white, you might not see it. But if you do black, you're gonna see it's not deep black. It's not it's like an ashy black. You see this black sugar right here is very deep. You see that? But most people when they sugar is very ashy. It's because they don't dust it. But how could you dust it when it's wet like that? So the trick for acrylic is you put it on, you wait until it gets to this state, you put it on again. And it's gonna soak in again, and you're gonna put it in again. You have to make sure that this whole piece is completely coat and packed with acrylic. And when it's like that, it will be hard as a rock. It will stay on people now for months. If they go without now for about one month, one and a half months, it's still going to be on. Because now the strength of it is compatible to 3D acrylic. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's all the way packed. That will eliminate problem number one, which is the wetness underneath. It's already packed. It's completely solid. Number two is the ashiness. Now you can wipe it. You can dust it because it's already packed solid that's no wet gel anywhere so you can dust it because if you dust in and your gel smear on you that means you're not ready to put it into the machine at all you have to keep on pouring and pouring until it's completely solid because when it's solid you can dust off the excess acrylic on top and when you do it's going to be nice and smooth the color gonna be rich. So you wanna do that. You wanna pack first and then dust. I think we all like it when you do this. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do that, <laughs> remember. It's very important. Little detail like that can affect the, the integrity of the set. Let's see what I have. So next we're doing quartz. Next we're doing rose quartz. Let me dust it one more time. That's all of it. Ooh, I didn't notice this one. That was badass. Yeah, it's a blooming uh, cobra. Yeah. It's a it's a neon oh, yeah. neon cobra. You're welcome, be you. Uh, 
All right, everyone. This is a set that we have today. Uh, first set this morning. Second set today. So the next set is going to be rose quartz. Loving the color of the tie dye. Thank you. I love the tie dye too. It's very seventies. Let me see. Let me see what it looks like on my nails. Hello, Scotland. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I feel like tie dye is a universal thing. It's loved everywhere. Yeah. So we got a poster thing, and then we'll be back on. Probably what, like the feather years. is pretty. Well, these balls are is a feather belong to this set. What do you mean, like, not have that in there? You know, you might as well design around the feather. I, I can, I can tell you're not loving it like, like you want to love it. I don't love it like I want to love it. I'm doing nothing now with you guys. It's cool, but I don't think it's belong to this set. I do nothing else. Said, keep the feather, take out the full tie dye. No, no, I love the full tie dye. I take out the feathers. It's beautiful for another set, but not for this set. Thank you, put nude on first. I'm still thinking about the design. Kia.
another code. Yay, good job, Lex Nails. After hours and hours and hours of relentless and aggressive and assertiveness, finally got the, the black and the cat eye with the, <laughs> the black hole. <laughs> you have to make sure you get it the second and the third time. Don't stop there. Right. Yeah. Once you get it, you got you got it. Yeah, you, memory you have to make sure that it's not an accident. Accident. It's an accident. Yeah, to make sure that 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 is the technique that that you know for sure. So you have to do it one more time, and then another time, and to make sure that those are smooth and fiction. Don't just stop at the first success and now do two more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's the key to it. Yeah. Cause long time ago when I practiced it, I got it the first time. I was so happy after three fucking hours of practice on it. I got it finally. I'm like, yes, let's go to lunch. <laughs> when I come back, I, did, I couldn't do it. Like, what happened? I was like, what did I do? What did I do is all right. <laughs> I couldn't do it again. I was just lucky that time. Finally. Finally, I adopted the formulas. Practice it, and then you would get it, and I'd be like, oh, thank goodness. And then you would do it again and again, and I'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> but I get it now. Hello, Trinidad. Hi, Trinidad. She said, no, it's one and done for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how are we going to savage this monstrosity. Okay. Green, yellow centers. Blue. Tiffany blue. That's right, damn damn. If people don't want to pay your worth and value, you don't need them in your life at all. No, not really. Don't settle for less. Oh, that's why she was struggling. She she got crappy nail cat eyes. Yeah, throw that in the trash. Yeah, just remember, product are very important. That's why I make my product. Cause my journey started uh, from teaching. So how I get started? I started from teaching, so I didn't start out just selling product. I start from teaching, and I we use so many products. And that is when I find out that I can make it better. I can make it unique. That's why I start selling. Sometimes people think, oh, like they watch live and they think, oh, I can just use it. I can just buy this. And it turned out it didn't work for them. And then they spend like a year or two, doesn't know why. Until one day when they use my product and it's work. And that is like an aha moment. That message me. Oh, thank you so much. Stuff like that. Just have to be aware. 
Well, and look at your process because you know before they even had things, we did Hobby Lobby and my yeah, I, I experiment a lot, a lot of experiment throughout the years. Um, what's now? I let me go see if they have any because we don't take care of any of the the business part of it. Cindy, she does all that kind of figuring. Let me let me step out. They've been doing the pallets this week. Let me see if they got one in there. Okay, yellow. Okay, green. Yes, Lux, there's a few in there. If you remind me right before we get down there, I'll pull one out and set it aside. Do you sell rhinestones? If so, are they plastic? Ooh, no. Uh, Dreamtime Creation sell all brand. Um, if you're looking for plastic, uh, you're looking for acrylic. Runstone. No, I think they're looking for quality. They don't want plastic. quality. We sell Strosky. If you want to want to buy Strosky from us, you have to sign the application. We one of the few that only allow to carry Strosky globally because after the Strosky pandemic, um, Strosky decided to keep just a few persons. So we require application so Strosky can keep track of your purchase. Um, also, you can buy Dreamtime Crystal. The quality is compatible to Swarovski. I would say it is the same. Made in Austria with brilliant cuts. Um, you also can buy Preciosa from us. Preciosa is a brand that are longer than Swarovski, older, but a little less expensive than Swarovski. Swarovski is more popular. Um, Preciosa, we got two kinds. We got Preciosa Maxima and Preciosa Viva. In my opinion, I like Preciosa Maxima than uh, Viva. Uh, we also carry Bling. Bling is third tier down from Strosky or Dreamtime Crystal or um, uh, Preciosa. So Bling is also a very good brand and definitely affordable for Bling. You can also try Spark. Spark is also good too. Um, if you're not shop for nails, we also carry Swarovski of figuring, um, Swarovski jewelry. Um, we also carry game time blinks um, for custom dance, um, stuff, stuff like that. And then uh, if you're looking for low quality, if you don't look for high quality, we have that too. We have acrylic stone. We have many other brands. Um, so the sky is your limit. You can buy the most expensive, the most quality stone from us, obviously, Swarovski. Or you can buy really low quality stone. We carry everything in Dreamtime Creation. Okay, now. Let me see. Okay. I will start out with yellow first. Mm. 
Yeah, Dream Time Creation are one of the biggest distributor in North America. We carry everything. We are very competitive in the crystal world. We have been in business for 30 years in crystals. Green. Blue. Tiffany Blue Purpose. See, I'm trying to look at it like a feather, but I cannot look at it like a feather. I have to look at it like something else, so it don't interfere with my pattern, the way I plan out my pattern. I do something similar like this before. I don't know if I have a deja vu or not.
from the yellow you pull down keep it parallel by doing the other side too this technique actually could be the whole thing so it could be something I can repeat many times Did I kill this yet? Yes. I think it's much better. Let me see. Clear this first. <laughs> I love <like> now. <laughs> People need to stop calling me. It kicked me out of the live. <laughs> what a new viral nail trend uh, you don't like. Mm. Nothing jump can jump out in my mind so far. I know it when I see it, but nothing jump out so far that I don't like. The newest viral trend is this one that I like. Um, at first, at first I was like, "What the hell is this?" And I seen it once. I didn't pay attention, but it got like a million views. So I like, hmm. and then I seen for the second time. It's not get much view. But I was like, is that a thing or something? And I just keep seeing it. I'm like, what the hell is that? It just, it's bubbly. What, what is that? It's so pink and weird. And finally, I discovered that it's a trend that people have a screensaver on their phone. And it's called a 3D inflated art. And it, they have all kind of fun pattern on their phone, stuff like that. So I was like, oh, so that's why people try to do it on the nails. I like it. It's going right now. It's fresh. It just started. But I love it. I'm like, okay. It takes me about a day to actually try to love it. Because you have to love it for you to able to do it. You have to love it. But I, I couldn't love it at first. But I did love it. Like now, I'm loving it. So it took me a while to like comprehend like what is the meaning of this. But it's a thing now. People have it on their phone saver. It's called a 3D inflated art. It's the nail ticks. It is. I mean, it's not tick in a bad way. It just, it's like this. It's like, oh, that's cool. Let me show you a regular nail. So this is a regular nail. So, I mean, it's not that thick. But, but when 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 people do it, it's t I mean Tino do it, it's it's beautiful. But when sometimes when people do it, it's taken in an ugly way. That's why it took me a long time to like. I was like, what does it mean? Why is it so ugly but so popular? It's like, what is it? But when I found it out, that is when I can embrace it. So I took that style and I embrace it. But Tino do it, so it's sexy. Okay, let me see. Matt, everything's. Kia. Hi, smile, Tiki. I have been a wonderful day.
Oh, shiny, shiny things. Thank you. Love to you know go personality. Thank you. Uh, not of a JJ. No, of a JJ is not a new gen. It's like an old gen. It's like so 2000, 2020. 2020. It's so 2020, pre COVID. But JJ is pre COVID. It's old. It's the old things. When it first come out, it's got it got some hit on it, the JJ now, but not anymore. Right now, it's normal. People already seen it. Okay, feather, feather, dream catcher. Okay. Yeah, but JJ definitely a thing of yesterday. Okay, now let's start our uh, feathers. Not feather. I need to quit saying feathers because it interferes with my patterns. I need to look at it as something that I don't know. Just, just beautiful art. So it doesn't interfere with my patterns. <laughs> no, I don't think that there was a JJ nail trend, was there? Yeah, duh. Oh. It's, it's viral uh, in COVID, but not anymore. When it's first come out, oh, I was filled with such envy. I'd be like, I should be the one who do the JJ now. I thought about it before. I should don't have the gut to do it. And somebody else took over. Mm. But the trend doesn't last long. Apparently, the JJ is not as quiet. Not a lot of people do it. It's not as popular. It. It's not a popular. So it's comfort me a little bit. Like, okay, whatever. At least it's not blowing up like I thought it would. It, it, it's go viral, but then that's it. Like there's no re recreation. One or two people attempt to do the JJ again, but it's mediocre compared <laughs> to the original. Yeah, the original was nice. It was nude and they have gold in it. It's beautiful, matte, no shine at all. No shine. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Mhm. Mm I was filled with such envy. Envy. <laughs> but it's over now. Oh my God! I said that. I had to Google it. I'm just sorry, I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, well, don't, don't ever look up blue waffle. Just oh yeah, it's no. a blue waffle. Oh my God, you make me hungry. You'll never be the same. Yes, really if you've never seen not, it, you should. Do not. It's exactly that. like a blue waffle, with nuts and everything in it. Do Google not. it. Don't Google it, please don't. knowing they're going to have to. Oh, of course they will. They're going to be like, oh, I wish I would. Yeah. My friend showed me the blue waffle. She thought I'm going to be shocked. I, I can't eat it's, so, it's so normal. <laughs> Nothing can shock me. If I got quiet, they're Googling right now. <laughs> okay, should I do something in here? There's a last chance. Okay, I'm gonna go in all the way down and have to be careful. We're gonna move into untapped territory. Okay, good. And stop. Don't look it up, Quasha. Don't look it up. Yep. If you look it up, make sure you're over 18 or your parent going to get curious. That's why I went gay. I was like, oh. Tino, could you do some nail art on Paris 2024 Olympic Games nails? Mm, I'm not sure. Be a little scared, Quasha. I'm not sure on sport team. I have dabbled with sport a couple of times. Mm, it didn't pan out well for me. Seemed like mm, just a small number of people into sport uh, that are liking it. 
my uh, group, mm, the age group that into my art um, ranged from uh, 1820 to uh, 1450s. Mm, women mostly, uh, 80% women, 20%, but, but 15% men and probably 5% undecided. But um, I don't know if they, they into sport or not. It seem like they don't. Cause they never respond good for sport team now. See, know that this pinks might be a bad idea. Let me see what people say about the pink. Everybody's Googling right now. <laughs> they Googling the blue waffle? Mm -hmm. They probably don't know where it is when they yeah, see it. On, Betty D. I'm, I promise you. It was so, like, the blue waffle was so 2010. It was so old. Oh. I think it's even before two go one cup. So old. Are they sugar? Now I will remove this metal part. I have decided that it's covered a lot of pink and I like pink. I want it gone. Uh, Imperfect Nails. Um, there is a list of Kino approved artists that you can get nails from. Kino is very proud of. They're very good. But he can't do any ah there's my pink here yeah. okay let's see so this is before a part of me disagree with this this is before this is with this oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. even though it's beautiful a part of me didn't think that it's fit in. The new edition, I think it's fit in. This part, the feather part. The new edition. Huh? The new edition. What new edition? Oh, yes. Okay, let's see the new edition. I think it's a match made in heaven. That's more like it. It's fit. What do you guys think? What the website I see is a product to do. Uh, where on the website I see is a product to do it yourself. Yes, my website have all the product that you can use to do your nails. Um, if you're looking for nail artists, it's in my Instagram. In my Instagram on Tinovo Shop and Instagram on Votino, both Instagram page. Uh, on that Instagram page, make sure that you search for the story highlights with a little, little circle highlight. And in that, in those story highlight, make sure you see artist. And in the highlight artist, I feature um, everybody that can uh, replicate uh, my nail set. They follow me for a long time and they're able to duplicate um, my nail set. You can place your order from there, from them. Um, um, there's Tanya, there's Lynn, there's uh, Chris, and Tracy, Abby, and um, just a lot of you, Tara. That, that's just people that like to do uh, uh, press on. Some of them are nail tech, but they can uh, make a press on set and send it to you. And Tanya is in the live right now. That she is watching right now. 
Tanya is good. Keep it or not? I'll keep it just in case. Just for a rainy day. The next nail set is going to be rose quartz. I'm going to uh, show you how to do rose quartz. Let me see. Any other question left before I leave? Hold on. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Oh, I just come in. I wanted to see how you did it. Uh, you can rewatch the live, but right now I'm going to move on to a different live. I'm going to move on to Rose Quad. Um, see, it's my second live. This is the first live. This is my second live. Uh, next one, I want to show people how to do Rose Quad. It's probably going to be. Uh, what up the rose quartz? Okay, still stiletto again on rose quartz. All right, everyone, I will see you soon. I'm gonna get out the live to save this live, and then I will start another live. I will. See, uh, what time is it? What time is it? That's five fifty one. Five fifty one. I am gonna be gone for about uh, twenty to thirty minutes. I'm gonna post my content and then I go back. Bye-bye, everyone. I will see you soon.